New at five, a longer, healthier life for your dog. Who wouldn't want that? Scientists at the University of Washington say new research can get it done. And Channel 2 anchor Fred Blankenship live in Cobb County with a clinical trial. Fred, some are calling a breakthrough. Oh, yeah, Justin. This is my, this is my dog, Milzy. Love her. And the woman who took part in the trial said the pill made her dog feel more energetic, playful, and it seemed to take years off the dog's life. Good, huh, Milzy? Dogs run, play, and grow. Something Abby Parks knows all about. I got her when she was five and a half weeks old. I eat a pork chop that weighed more than she did. But when her beloved Maltese started getting older, it was tough. When my Cassie Marie got sick, critically ill, I was so upset. I mean, they're a companion. You spend time with them, their love is totally unconditional. Such a little attention hog. Huh? Unconditional love, Dr. Matt Camberline says dog parents need more of. Camberline and his colleague, Dr. Daniel Promislow at the University of Washington are behind the Dog Aging Project, performing clinical trials with hopes of a nationwide study. A first of its kind to track aging in man's best friend. What took 50 or 60 years to learn in a human, we can learn in 5 or 10 years in a dog. They just completed first round trials of a drug called rapamycin. In large doses, it's used on humans to fight organ transplant rejection. The doctors say their research shows rapamycin can extend the life of lab mice. In every laboratory animal where we've tried, we've been able to increase lifespan by 30, 40, 50 percent. Hey, Rascal. Aging is something Rose Bigham couldn't help but notice on 10-year-old Rascal. A pinched nerve kept him from playing like he used to. He's hadn't ever since that time jumped up high as much or chased as fast. Then she saw an ad in the paper for the dog aging project. He qualified and I was thrilled. Rascal was one of nearly 30 dogs that participated in the first round of clinical trials testing rapamycin in middle-aged dogs over a 10-week span. I definitely saw a change in my dog and that thrills me. Doctors say their research could increase a dog's lifespan by three to five years. We can now use those tools to study thousands of dogs around the country. Back in Ackworth, Abby Parks and her vet, Toby Carmichael, are excited too. The more research we see that's going down this pathway, the more we're going to see that that's going to correlate into better human lives. And to boot, they'll be able to keep their pets around with them a lot longer as well. Too late for Parks Maltese, but maybe not too late for younger dogs. To be able to bring them back to a healthy quality of life, that would be wonderful. And it, it's certainly what researchers say the big holdup right now, funding. They're writing grants right now trying to get funded. Hey, Millsy, and they say if properly funded within five years, they can increase the lifespan of a dog by two to five years. And, and who wouldn't want that? Right, Millsy? Mm-hmm. Jovita, back to you. And Fred, who doesn't want to look at two minutes of video of puppies? So thank you for that. But everyone is excited about dogs being able to live longer, healthier lives. Could this research right. possibly impact us humans? Well, well, you know, uh, Javita, the idea is that dogs are great barometers. They're a lot like us. Uh, they they, uh, they eat the same food, drink the same water. We nap on the same couch. Don't tell anybody, especially my wife. So the idea is that if it works well in dogs and they can handle the medication, human trials. Would be next. All right. Promising information. Fred, thank you. Enjoy your puppy.